Hello dear students, now we are going to study new chapter that is moving charges and magnetism lecture 1. So this is one of the important chapter in class 12. So now in this lecture 1 in, the, in this introduction class we are going to learn these fundamental laws Ampere swimming rule, Ampere's right hand thumb rule, Maxwell's car screw rule. So before uh, we are going to study about these rules here this chapter is about the magnetic field study of magnetic field which is produced by the current carrying wire okay current carrying wire so in electrostatics we have learned about the charges which are at rest right so those charges produce electric field electric field now if the charges flow through a conductor then these charges will produce even magnetic field magnetic field now in this chapter we are going to study about that magnetic field which is produced by current carrying wire so this was proposed by Ayrstead the scientist Okay, Ayrstead, he was the first scientist who proposed that, who discovered that the current carrying conductor produce magnetic field. Okay, so he proposed two things, that is first one, like that current carrying conductor produces magnetic field around it. And the second thing is, if we change the direction of current, then the direction of magnetic field also changes. Then the direction of field also changes with the change in direction of current. So these two things he proposed and after that, Bites Howard, he, he was the scientist who implemented this uh, theory of our state. Okay, so right now to study about this field, magnetic field, direction, magnitude and what factor it depends. Like uh, before we are uh, learning all these things. So you need to know these less, laws, fundamental laws, which we apply to find the magnetic field, direction of magnetic field. Okay, so right now we will see uh, these rules one by one. First rule, uh, these all three rules we can use to find the magnetic field, direction of magnetic field. Okay, keep in your mind this thing. Right, now ampere swimming rule. By using this rule, how do we find magnetic field, right? See now, if a man swims along the direction, along the current carrying wire, such that his face is always towards the magnetic needle through which the current is entering his feet and leaving from his head, then the north pole of the magnetic needle is always deflected towards his left hand towards his left hand so i'll explain in detail let us take the swimmer is swimming along the direction of current so this is our direction of current okay now the swimmer is swimming in this direction along the direction of current so the swimmer is swimming in this direction okay like this so when he is swimming along the direction now when we place a magnetic needle beside him Okay, let us take this is our north pole of the magnetic needle. So this north pole of the magnetic needle deflects towards his left hand. Towards his left hand. Okay, means here the magnetic field lies like this. Okay, clockwise. Clockwise, if you see from this side. Okay, from left hand side, if you see it is clockwise. And if you see from right hand side, it is anti-clockwise direction. So means here... The direction of his left hand gives the direction of magnetic field. Okay, so here by using this law, we can find the direction of magnetic field clearly. That, see, let us take, we will see some examples. So from these examples, you will uh, get clarity. So let us take first one, like if the current is flowing in this direction. Okay, current is flowing in this direction. Now if I place a magnetic needle here beside this. Okay, so this is our magnetic needle. Okay, north pole of the magnetic needle. Now ultimately it deflects in this direction. Okay, let us take this side uh, light, this side west, this side east, okay, this side south. Now this magnetic needle deflects towards west, towards west like this. So then this, this, this is a magnetic field line. So usually for current carrying conductor, these magnetic field lines are like circular, like concentric circle. This is in the form of concentric circle. If the current flows in this direction, then the magnetic field line like this. Magnetic field line. Okay. So this magnetic field is always perpendicular to the direction of current. Here, this plane of this line, okay, plane, sorry, plane of this uh, magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of current. Okay, direction of current. So at any point, it acts along the tangent on this line, the magnetic field. So this direction of magnetic field, okay, we can calculate by using some other formulas, okay, in further classes. But here in this lecture, just you need to know uh, direction of magnetic field, whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise, okay, only this alone you need to know. 
right here when the current is flowing upward direction here the magnetic field direction like this so it like this here it likes this so ultimately if you see from up okay from up so it looks like um, anti-clockwise direction okay like this like this so this magnet direction of magnetic field only relatively we can find the direction relatively with respect to if you see from bottom it, its direction is clockwise if you see from bottom its direction magnetic field direction is clockwise and if you see from up it, its direction is anti-clockwise so it is relatively we can uh, find the direction of magnetic field okay so right but here by using this ampere swimming rule we can find clearly okay by just by imagining the deflection of north pole of the needle okay then we can find for example one more example now here the direction of magnet uh, direction of current is in this direction okay so let us take uh, a magnetic needle like this this is our magnetic needle okay this is our north pole now the current is flowing like this then in which direction it deflects in this direction it deflects okay so this is like let us take this is west this is east this is south so it deflects towards west deflects towards west okay now one more example you can see one more this is the direction of current this is the direction of current now i will place here this is the needle not the pole of the needle like this then it deflects in which direction it deflects towards west or towards east okay so we have to imagine now this ampere like swimming rule the person is swimming along the direction of current then his direction or left hand direction is away 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 from the north pole like so like this yes or no so this north pole of the magnetic needle deflects towards west so why because his left hand moves away away from him like so it goes like this so one more example so here the current direction is like this okay now i am placing like this magnetic needle this is a magnetic needle direction okay so this is east this is west this is south now in which direction this magnetic needle north pole of the magnetic needle deflects okay towards his left hand right so now he is swimming in this direction then his left hand his left hand moves like this right like this so this south pole moves like this then north pole deflects towards west like this okay so like this we can find the direction of magnetic field by using ampere swimming rule okay so next we will see ampere's right hand thumb rule ampere's right hand thumb rule states that if thumb of the right hand is in the direction of the current current flow then the curl fingers gives the direction of magnetic field means here you are holding you are holding the wire current carrying wire with your right hand such that your thumb is showing your thumb is showing the direction of current this is thumb thumb is showing the direction of current and in which direction you are you are uh, like curling your fingers rotating your fingers so that direction gives the direction of magnetic field the direction gives the direction of magnetic field for example here the current is flowing in this direction okay so this is now you are holding this one and such that your your thumb is showing the direction of current and remaining fingers you are holding like this right like this like this like this like this you are holding like this in this direction you are rotating now this is which direction clockwise or anti-clockwise so these are the lines which gives anti-clockwise direction okay anti-clockwise direction when you are seeing from this side let us take this is east side this is west side west to east so when you are seeing to a, from east side then the direction of magnetic lines of force are direction of magnetic field lines are anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise and when you are seeing from west it is clockwise okay so relatively we can uh, find so from east from east this is anti-clockwise direction and from west if you see from west it is clockwise this is right hand thumb rule okay so by using right hand thumb rule we can find the direction of magnetic field lines like this if you see uh, if you observe in this direction here the current is flowing upward then he is holding this current carrying wire with his right hand such that his thumb is showing the direction of current and the direction of this curled finger is giving the direction of magnetic field okay right so next 
Maxwell's corkscrew rule. So this Maxwell's corkscrew rule is also used to find the direction of uh, magnetic field. So how we can find? So imagine a right-handed corkscrew with its axis coinciding with the current carrying wire. Okay, current carrying wire in this direction current is flowing. Now rotate the screw to advance in the direction of current. So the direction in which the thumb rotates give the direction of magnetic field. Okay, so for example, this is screw, right? This is screw and you are rotating this one. Let us take current is flowing in this direction. Okay, now you have to advance this screw along the direction of current. Means you have to rotate in which direction? Means you have to move inside. Means you have to rotate in clockwise direction like this, like this. You have to rotate in clockwise. Then only it advances in the direction of current. It goes inside along the direction of current like this. Okay, clockwise. So this clockwise, this direction gives the direction of magnetic field. So this is the direction of magnetic field. I hope you understood. So when the current is flowing downward, okay, then you have to lose the screw. You have to lose the screw so that you have to rotate in uh, anticlockwise direction. You have to rotate in anticlockwise direction. So like this, by using this uh, Maxwell's Karku screw rule, we can find the direction of magnetic field. Okay, thank you.